Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. I'm here at the Chicago Field Museum and they just brought me into the ant room. Hi guys, these are our ant pros. See? So for those of you guys who want to pursue careers in ants, you can learn from these awesome folks. So this is Ben and he's gonna take us around this ant room and kind of show us around here. Well, this is just the uh, the uh, office, so a lot of the actual research doesn't happen here. But, okay. Um, uh, but we, we do work on a computer like Max uh, is here. <laughs> hey Max. These are called turtle ants because they um, they, they have a very thick um, uh, exos uh, exoskeleton, so the, the cuticle is very thick. Um, uh, and, and so they're very resilient. You actually can even like, so I've accidentally rolled them on my fingers and they actually will be perfectly fine. Wow. Um, but also they use their, uh, their heads, they have a saucer. And oh yeah, there's more here running around. <laughs> And they use their head like a saucer, I mean, that looks like a saucer, and they use it like a, a, um, a doorway. Mm -hmm. uh, so their, their colony has you know, little holes, and in order to keep other, particularly ants, out from invading, um, they will actually just kind of sit all day with their head uh, in the doorway. Um, uh, uh, keeping keeping on other ants, so it's, cool. it's, it's kind of crazy. And it says that uh, I see they're in wood, so they live in in wood. Oh, right. They're right. arboreal. So, yes, so they're, they're, they're arboreal. They, they live in uh, twigs that have actually been hollowed out by beetles. So mm -hmm. beetles will first live in the twig and will bore bore their way in, and then after they've left, um, there's this you know open cavity, and ants will actually uh, the turtle ants will move around and actually search out. Uh, uh, nests. Okay, so they're opportunistic. They don't actually right. burrow in the wood like right. actually, is. There's been some cool work to show that the more so that so the, this group of ants is a genus, you know, uh, the cephalodes, yeah, right. mm -hmm. the, the turtle ants, and they they um, there's actually a lot of um, variation in the specialization of the heads. So some heads are like a perfect circle saucer. Some are more like plug like So you need more than just one ant to kind of block it up. Um, and so the most specialized ones that are a perfect circle. There's a, a, some work by uh, researcher Scott Powell, who's a collaborator with Corey Moreau, this is uh, mm -hmm. her lab here, mm -hmm. um, I, I, has shown that um, the more specialized ones are actually more picky, basically, uh, 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 in their choice, in their selection of, uh, of the uh, nests that are cool. poured out by, by ants. And so the more specialized, the more um, kind of perfect fit there is for the uh, ant head and the ant nest. And I see you have a deterrent. Is that fluon you're right. using? Yes, there? it is. Yep. Yeah, so, so that that white stuff yeah, keeps out the uh, ants from keeps them from, from from running out. As you as uh, anyone who's had ants invade their house, you can try to keep them out, but it's pretty much impossible without some sort of a uh, special agent. <laughs> awesome, cool. Florida <laughs> so, Keys. It seems like you guys are studying a lot of ants in Florida. Right. So so um, I, uh, Corey Moreau, I'm working again to the um, researcher uh, who's she's the. Uh, Assistant curator, a assistant, assistant curator here. Um, she, she's done some cool work to, that's partially for outreach as well um, at the um, Florida Keys. And so, so this here it, it is a way for um, for other people, for like you know, uh, non-experts and, and um, even like in classrooms, to uh, a a um, way to, to to show people what to get the kind of diversity of ants in the Florida Keys. Mm -hmm. And they also have native species as well as um, some behind this or some I think invasive oh, yeah, invasive species. Um, so you're able to kind of see the differences and um, learn about the ants. And this is the turtle ant that I, we were just looking at. Ah, uh, yeah. Cephalodes Cephalodes. Yeah. Cory collects more work about in Florida Key and I think Arizona and other uh, weather armor. It's because it's cold than tropicals and more diversity of ants, actually different animals, it's in tropical. So because uh, of that, we can see more ants in Florida Keys and Arizona than here in the I see. So yeah. would you say Florida, the Florida Keys and Arizona have a high ant diversity compared yeah. to the rest of the US? Yeah, so or? actually Arizona is, is kind of somewhat surprisingly the, the most diverse state for, uh, for ants of, of, of any US state. Which is a little surprising to me. I would have thought that Texas here, at least just for size, would be yeah. more. Part of that is most likely because it's um, because it's uh, um, kind of in between. You know, there's warmer, like you know, like like Mexico and you know, uh, kind of tropical regions, and also the more temperate regions in the north. So that kind of mixing of uh, environments most likely uh, helps there be more diversity compared to other states. Great, awesome. But I'm from Brazil, question. Yes. This is yes. the difference. There is a great difference between diversity there and here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm from Philippines. There's tons of ants there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can live with bugs all the time. Yeah, that's right. They're just everywhere. They're my yeah. roommates. Now, do you guys have an exhibit here in the Field Museum? Um, perhaps you'd like to answer this. Is there an exhibit uh, people can go to in the Field Museum here in Chicago? Or uh, are you planning on? I think there, there was for a while a, a temporary ants. exhibit about yeah. ants and it featured Corey. There was, uh, I don't know if, there, I think there are videos on YouTube that, yeah, that show it. Cool. Um, the Romance of Ants. The Romance of Ants. So it was about Corey and her discovery of ants and I think it showed 
uh, the process of her discovery through um, comics. Uh, oh, so wow. it's kind of an interesting medium yeah. to to, disc to explore that. And there is also the Underground Adventure um, oh, yeah. exhibit here, which shows uh, like lots of different like insects and underground features. Yeah, I think like fifty to hundred times their their size. So it's awesome. interesting to kind of get up close and personal. Yeah. Cool, great. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Really yeah. appreciate it. No and uh, yeah. where can where can our visitors go to learn more about the ants and more about the Field Museum here in Chicago? So, so, so uh, I mean, one good way is also you actually kind of contact people who who, who work here. But, but um, uh, the, uh, you also could, yeah, I mean, uh, go to like the, the underground exhibit. Um, mm -hmm. uh, um, you also can uh, can uh, online actually so like this this document ants species of the Florida Keys I believe that there is one online for the for the Chicago as well um, but also you can you can also go to um, uh, Corey Moreau's website it's just um, uh, it's csmoreau.org or something like that yeah yeah, yeah. Matt can show yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah which, um, she has all kinds of information on on a website about both academic and for kind of broader audience um, great. Um, like many things like that. Awesome, thank you guys. This is fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've got all these specimens here too. Yeah, this is a, you know, kind of a, um, uh, you know, uh, the, the way that we, we, we kind of keep uh, uh, keep ants safe is, you know, put these in these boxes that are sealed very tightly so other insects don't come in and, uh, and destroy them, basically. Yeah, so, and actually you can see some turtle ants that we were talking about earlier here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is so floaties. And then also, um, you know, many other things with some Campanotus. Um, yeah. That's great. Many different ants. All right, well, thank you guys for giving us access to this secret private room back in, in the vault. It's a vault. Yeah, it's really great. Thank you, we appreciate your time. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye, enjoy the museum. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks so much for watching my video. It really means a lot to me. Remember to subscribe if you liked what you saw. And don't forget to check out some of the other videos on my channel, like a video on how I catch queen ants during nuptial flight, or our Solenopsis Geminata playlist. It's Ant Love Forever, guys. Bye.